Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Angel Graphics, and today I'm here with a very beautiful tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you guys how to design a Valentine flyer with Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's start trading. Okay, guys, welcome back. So yeah, the first thing we want to do is actually create a for workspace. So I'm not going to insert your intelligence by teaching you how to do that. So I obviously believe you know how to set your workspace down to e for size. So yeah, what we want to do is let me go to show you guys stuffs here. So yeah, these are everything we have. This is the resource file. This is the text <coughs> we'll be using. And down here we've got all our resource files. I've read that we'll be using. However, I'm going to be linking this down in the description section where you can download it. But it's going to be passworded, so keep watching and get the password. It's somewhere inside this video, and I won't, I won't be replying everyone in my DM asking me for the password. So please watch carefully. The password is going to be dropped. I'm not going to forget. Yeah, I noticed that I made a mistake or a typo, one type in, you can find time. So yeah, this is pretty much what we got. So that's what I want to do is actually scale this up a bit, some massive. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to be dragging in this PNG file, which contains wine and bottle. I don't know why, but I feel it's, it's, it's nice, man. Then, yeah. Just create stuff like this. Roll this up. And then if I continue, I'll quickly like to give this um, a background. So I'm going to be using the solid color. And I'll be giving this a red color. Probably this red. Yeah, this red. It's a bit disappointing. And I think I'm okay with this red. So I'm going to be creating ingredients. Um, it's going to be radial and revised. Yeah, so we got something like this. Maybe I would increase the scale to we have something like this. Yeah, I think, yeah, something like this is lucky. Okay. So I want to give you um, a Photoshop document. Um, it's actually inside the resource file I'm sharing. It has to do with it. It's a grunge background, so it's going to make our background a bit rough, not actually too too clean like this. Yeah, so we have something like this. So I'm going to be selecting this this grunge texture group over here, and I'll be taking it down inside this space. So obviously, you can see that it's actually added some noises to our background, to our design, actually. Yeah, I'm going to give this color a white color so that it will contrast with and it should be visible on our background. So, yeah, we have done something like this. We've got Valentine's party. I'll probably ship them closer to themselves. Yeah, so we've got Valentine's party ready. So, the next one we do is actually check in our folder and we have um, the address over here 14th February Valentine's Day. So we could have something like this 14th as a font and then February. Oops. <laughs> this is this is a mistake I Yeah, I eat the full screen just got okay. February. Um this is at all caps. So I eat control T to bring out the next day. And I'll just click this and it's going to clear it as first. So I'm going to be using the positive font, something like Apollo 
results are used in the next week. Okay, yeah, so we basically have something like this 14th February. So, yeah, I'll reduce the size like this and take it down to the side of our design. So, we get something like this flying around. Okay, so yeah, this 14th February and it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, we get Valentine's Day game. So I'm going to be dragging these down. And I'm writing Valentine's Day. And I'll probably reduce the size. Just like this. Yeah. So we got this <coughs> as a date. I'll just probably go back to the and name this date. Then for this Valentine's party, I'll put them and name Valentine's party. This is actually to help us tidy, tidy our background, our design, and So I'm going to name this background. Yeah, so that is it. <coughs> so, the next thing we want to do is to actually still go back here and then find what is missing. We've got um, the Jalash Lodge local in the state. So I'm going to copy this <coughs> and then I'm creating a new text effect, um, a text, a plain text rather. So now I'll type Jalash Lodge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The jealous knowledge is my knowledge actually, so yeah, I've got my own personal knowledge. So we've got jealous knowledge over here, then beneath it we have the other police states. Okay, so yeah, I really want this to be as thick as what we've got up, so in the same family. I'm going to just use a lighter font and then probably centralize it and then take this one down a bit just like so okay so we got the last launch local Japan district it's serving as the address obviously so we're going to be using this address icon over right here it's down in your resource folder just drag this down straight into Photoshop. Take it down here. And you probably reduce the size. Yeah, so we got this like this. And then if um for some reason I forgot to add it something here, so I'm going to go back to where I keep my PNG files. Okay, so um it's actually on my orders and I don't want you guys to actually see everything I'm having on my system. Yeah, so I'm going to quickly go to my PNG folder, PNG confirm, yeah, get something like this, okay, so I'm going to be dragging it into our resource folder, so we got it right here, so I'm going to be dragging it into our Photoshop, <coughs> and then reducing the size, and then taking this down a bit, so we've got something like this going on. Okay. So we probably want to yeah, we want it to align properly like this. And then we want it to be a white color, obviously. So I'm going to create a new here, give it a fill with the paint bucket white. So I've got that thing in this in this workspace is going to be white, except I keep it inside here. So I'm just going to right click and it creates clipping mask. Or just hit your control alt G. To do, to do the same thing okay so we've got something like this okay i'm trying to actually arrange it more. so we've got something that looks balanced okay so i could name this Dates and address. Okay, 
okay so yeah i want you guys to <laughs> understand what i'm doing so that's why i'm keeping them well i will not do quality it so so many designing this stuff all alone okay so yeah that's pretty much that we've got okay let me quickly drag this to my stand up monitor so that i can just drag in once and again okay um sorry guys sorry sorry i'm very very sorry okay so yeah back to our design file <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is actually go back to our text and let's see what's next we've got special features highlights and then we've got some arrangements for tickets down here so yeah we're starting with special features so i'm just going to copy this but before we start i will take a text and then create just a couple of slash it's just uh, yeah slash it's normal slash on your keyboard then i'll just probably reduce the size of it so yeah until we get something like this so the next thing i want to do is actually create the text like this and then paste it so we've got special features so yeah you just scale it down till you get what you're looking for yeah so i'm going to be i'm going to be selecting this and it's ctrl t and then correct it down here so that everything will just be capped yeah so you just reduce the size shift it up a bit create space between the text something like this and we're able to go so yeah we we'll love to i would love to shift this up a bit then the special features i'm going to cut it out and then duplicate this and then and then paste it here so yeah we got special feature here so i'm going to be changing the fonts to apali So yeah, I'm going to actually increase the size of this and then probably shift it up a bit. Give it a yellow color so that it will contrast with uh, our white. So I'm going to select this two layers and then reduce it a bit and then duplicate it down to this place. The next thing I want to do is <coughs> come back to here and then we've got our highlights which are games, music, dash, blah blah blah. So yeah, I'll just copy that and get back into Photoshop. Select all the text we've got here and then paste. We've got music. We've got comedy. We got live band. We got dinner. Yeah, so this is this much what we got. So um, instead of having them all on a line, um, yeah, a bit scanty. So we just make them come up something like this. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to be changing this to highlights. Yeah, so we've got highlights over here. So we've got highlights over here. So yeah, the next thing I want to do is actually finish what we've got. We've got free 5k, 10k, 15k, 20k, and 30k. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now um I would love to create three boxes here. 
three boxes here and then use them to serve uh, <coughs> as a frame where all this text will be lying. So I'll just quickly select these two and then put them together and name it highlights. Then the special feature I'm going to put them together and name it SF now and then select the two of them like this scale it up a bit so yeah so that it will be a bit visible then you, sh you shift them closer to themselves okay so yeah this what we've pretty much got so far so the next thing we want to do is actually create those boxes I was talking about a few seconds ago so I'm going to be using this tool over here that is the rectangle tool and I'm going to be drawing a free rectangle around so yeah we've got a rectangle like this I'm going to fill it white and then probably increase the size of it again yeah so we basically have something like this so I'm going to duplicate it and duplicate it once again so yeah we've got a three duplicates of this so I'm going to um, distribute them equally so yeah we've got something like this I'm going to reduce the size you just pretty much play with it till you get what you want and um we could also select this to probably reduce the size of it because we've got a lot of right up coming here and we need enough space for this so I'm just going to increase the size down here and then duplicate it also and then just basically select everything here and then yeah so we've got a grid of I can do this. spaces where texts are coming in Yeah, so you just basically free up some spaces and yeah this is pretty much nice this is pretty much nice the next thing I want to do is actually get back here and start with no I could just actually copy three of this yeah stuff like three of this like this and then I will zoom in a bit probably fan around And then select our text tool and then just paste in the text we've got. We zoom out and then reduce the size because we've got a huge size over here. Change the color to black, at least for a start, and then change the font to the same font like Lato. Yeah, we've got Lato Boogie over here. Um, probably zoom in also. Come up here, reduce the size till we've got something like this. Okay. Select everything we've got and then create a couple of spaces. Um, and this will take a lot of time if I continue, so I'll just quickly increase them from here. So yeah, we'll get the best in the then. Okay, so yeah, just zoom in, we just manage it still, we got something nice. Okay, so we got the couple, VIP. We got the couple with VIP. I'm going to be giving this the red color. So I'm applying it. Oops, that's a mistake okay. So I'm just going to bring in the ruler and then check in something. Yeah, I would love this to be actually well aligned. Okay, 
Yeah, so we brought something like this. I can eat the country each to hide our our ruler. So yeah, I want to select all these rectangles once again. And this time around I'm going to expand it so that it could actually contain the last test which is really high to over here. Then now I'm going to select the last three, which is over here this little one. Okay. Um I should select the first three, obviously. Yeah, the one over here. Then I'm going to be dragging them, shifting them closer to themselves, using the arrow keys, and then select every other thing. And then basically just reduce it once again. Okay, so we got yeah, we got something like this in our design. So just feel free to play around. The next thing I want to do is copy this down here also and then copy the last three we've got here and then this thing. Okay, so yeah, you paint them. <laughs> you said paint, you give them colors. Yeah, you make them red and black, just as uniform as this one you got here. And then probably shift them close. Then this, this first three, I guess. Yeah, this first three, I'm going to group them, select all of them together, and then increase the size of it. Okay, so yeah, we pretty much got this ready. So I'm going to be grouping all these rectangles together and name them rectangles. And then double click and create some layer styles on them. So we got the bevel and emboss over here. Yeah, we pretty much just play around with it. So I'm okay with the results I'm getting here. It's kind of glossy and then I feel it's okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to it's okay. So yeah, we've got this well set. So yeah, this other one I'm going to do them also and then, then um packages. And then yeah. Keep them somewhere around. Okay, so yeah, let's not forget. Um, according to the paper I'm seeing in front of me, there's something called ticket on top of it. So yeah, I'm going to take in the ruler and then drag it down here. Okay, so I find out they are kind of like matching. And then do, so I'll just hide them. And then the highlight, um, the text highlight, I'm going to duplicate it and then copy it out into the into this place actually. And then Shift it to the center and name these tickets. Yeah, so we have tickets over here. Okay, so yeah, we're actually making progress in our design. It's actually progressing. So yeah, the next thing we wanna do <coughs> is actually do something with our text effects over here. So I'm going to close this one. Because we won't be using them anymore, we won't be using the gloss background anymore. So I'm going to be opening something which is a glossy, it's a glossy Valentine text effect. It's something similar to what I've got here, but it's, it's already a, it has layer styles attached to it, and then it will actually make our work much easier. So I, I, I have the text effect applied already. So I'm just going to delete this one. So since we won't be using them anymore so I will be dragging this down inside our design and then I will align it straight to the center so yeah this is basically the text effect we will be using that's the Valentine party so I am going to get down to where we got the main text obviously it should, shouldn't be in our background so I will just drag it outside the background so yeah, the main text, I'll just call it Valentine text. So I'm going to be duplicating it. What I want to do is actually apply 
uh, something called is it wrap? I want to actually freely transform this. Yeah, it's called okay, it's called wrap actually. Okay, so I'm going to be selecting this one over here. This bulge, so it's actually going to show up our design like this. So, yeah, we just reduce it and then so we'll get something like this. Something that looks a bit wacky. Yeah, so something like this instead of all this. So it actually comprises it in part and then it's actually nice. So yeah, that's what we got here. So the next thing we want to do is actually apply some some um some other stuff to our design. So in the PNG in um the resource files you'll find some leaves <coughs> you'll find some leaves in our design so I'm going to be using these leaves right now. So I'm going to be dragging this one in first. Yeah, so it's going to be around here. Just, just randomly place them. So yeah, I think it's okay right here. It's okay right here. Okay, so yeah, I have two leaves. So I'm going to be dragging in the other one also. Yeah, this is this actually the other one. It's got enter and then free transform this to where we would love it to be. Um, I could, I could just, I think it should be okay if it's on um, this place. Okay, so yeah, so we got the <coughs> leaves over here. So I'm going to be grouping this together and I'll call this leaves. And then double click and apply a shadow, we drop shadow now actually. <coughs> Just like this, so that you make it look a bit realistic, increase the size and probably reduce the um you just play with the shadow, just add a little shadow on it. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to hide the glass eating the bottle out. So yeah, the next thing I want to do is actually add lens play to our text. So yeah, I got the lens flare over here. So when I drag it in, it's it's just here. So um, we just play around with the text effect we built. So I think light screen is good. Lighting works well, but not really well. I think screen shines better. Color dodge, just you can just play around with them. Okay, I think color dodge is doing a great job here also. And the screen, the screen doesn't shout a lot, so I'm going to be using the screen. Okay, but you can feel free to use any other one you like. <coughs> I'm using the, this for the purpose of this tutorial. So yeah, this is pretty much what we've got so far. So I'm just going to tap in this and then increase the size of it. I'm probably using top of it. So we got something like this. And so yeah, the design actually is already looking great. And we could even call this the end for the design already. Since we brought every other thing and arranged attractively, and it's actually simple. So, yeah, there's something I would love to add again, which is an overlay. Okay. So, I just drag it in, and we've got this line over it. Yeah, there's a way we create it using um, <coughs> um, pattern overlay, but for some people, it's not just working for them. So, I have to create an empty layer. And Reduce the feel and do something that could just replace it. So you could use it in your designs if this is something you love seeing. Okay, so you can see it, it's looking fine on the soft light. You just play around with it, then yeah, so you can see this line going around and it's actually beautiful. So yeah, this pretty much it for the design. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you find this design useful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for watching. I see you on your boy, Jola Graphics.